As you might have noticed from my introduction, I am not a mellow person. I don't do serenity. I've tried. I went to a yoga class for a while, but I kept getting mad when the lady kept telling me how to breathe. <laughs> so uh, when a couple of my really dear friends, Lori and Kirby, invited me for a spa weekend, I was excited, but a little nervous. I mean, I'd never been to a spa before. I didn't really know how it was done. But they promised me they would show me what to do, and the timing couldn't have been better. It was going to be a weekend in February, and the cold and dark months here just get me down. February is the worst, you know? Plus, I had a ton of stress at work, and I have a small child. I really needed a getaway. So I said, yeah, let's do this, spa! So um, they said that wasn't quite the right approach. Um, <laughs> Lori sent me to the website for the Salamander Spa. And as I clicked around, I was intrigued but a little confused by what they had to offer. Evidently, according to the website, I wasn't going to a spa for the weekend. I was embarking on a transformational journey to wellness. Wow, that seemed like a lot to ask of just a weekend at a spa, but I was keeping an open mind, totally. I need to pick a body treatment. Again, not quite sure what that means, but I saw a massage category, and I like that. So I picked an immersive and inspiring winter warming seasonal ritual, and I had no idea what that was about. But I knew it was a massage, and it had the word warm in it in February, so good. So, the day came and we got to the spa, we got to the hotel. The salamander looks like just about any hotel until you get to the inner sanctum of the spa. That's when I noticed the difference. The colors were all muted browns and greens, and bamboo grew artfully, and fountains gurgled, all of which was meant to soothe me, and I was not sure it was going to work, but I was keeping an open mind. Our guide showed us where we would be changing out of our clothes into big fluffy robes and sandals that we would be wearing all day. All day? I've had massages before. And you go in, you take off your clothes, you get your massage, you put on your clothes, and you're out. All day? But the only other place I'd ever heard of where you're asked to relinquish your clothes upon arrival is prison? <laughs> but my friends looked super happy, and so I was going with it. We all were escorted into a waiting area, which was a beautiful sunny room, and hey guys, snacks! This was better than I expected. There was a big bowl of seeds and nuts and an enormous glass jar of ice water with fruit floating in it. This looks great! So my friends and I sat around having a fruit water cocktail party, naked in robes. It was odd, but I liked it. We were all called back for our body treatments, and my massage was lovely. It involved stuff that smelled good, and it was really nice. Was I transformed? No. Was my body relaxed? Yes. When Lori Kirby and I were all done, uh, our guide escorted us through and gave us a tour of the common area of the spa. She said, over here is the aromatic steam room. Hmm, that looks nice. Over here is the vitality pool. It was a hot tub. It was a nice hot tub, but okay. Vitality pool. Okay. Over here is the experiential shower. Wait, excuse me, what? What's, what's that? She clarified. Oh, this isn't a shower where you get clean. Those are in the back. This is for therapeutic relaxation. All right, I gotta try this. An experiential shower? Okay, so my friends went off to the vitality pool and I went into the experiential shower. I walked in and it was about two or three times bigger than any shower stall I'd ever been in before. The green and blue tiles shimmered in the dim light, and it seemed a little dark, actually. The brightest thing by far was a touchpad on the wall. It was about the size of an iPad. I took a minute to kind of look at it and go, man, they must have really waterproofed that sucker. I focused on my choices. The choices were Arctic Mist, new, no. Body Spray, 
Tropical storm. Hmm. Rainforest. Ooh, that sounded good. I touched rainforest, and suddenly, hidden speakers began to play spa music. You know what I mean. Do -do 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 Above me, an array of small colored lights embedded in the ceiling began to pulse and undulate with the sound of the music. Do -do 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 I stood naked, transfixed. <laughs> a light show in my shower! Oh my god! And then, above me, the air began to humidify with a very light mist. It reminded me a lot of the produce section at the grocery store. I felt like a cucumber for a moment. And then the main event started. A huge rain shower head started to pour a torrent of warm water. And I'm like, I'm getting rained on in the rainforest, ah! And there, the lights are going, and the music is going, and it was really cool. And then there were more shower heads on the walls, and they started in, and the, the, the kind of a feeling changed a little bit, and I had water coming here, and water coming here, and it's like, this is amazing. And then another nozzle started, and it was cold! Ah, what? Was that a mistake or a joke or what was that? I was kind of irritated. It's like, I'm having an experience here and that cold water, yeah. But then I realized it was such a big shower that I could dodge the cold water spray. So it was lights, music, dodge left. <laughs> so I kept doing that for a while and I really enjoyed it. I was able to dodge the water and the whole thing was very amusing and the cycle stopped and it was quiet and dim again. And I laughed. And something about the tension that was always right there in my chest started to loosen. And I could breathe. I mean, it's an experiential shower. It was absurd and funny and fun and foreign, and I had to tell my friends about it. So I quickly got out and went over to the hot tub, and I was smirking. And Lori said, how was your experiential shower? And I thought carefully. I didn't want to give too much away. I said, it's like Disney World, but less uniformly pleasant. <laughs> and, we, and we all laughed. And we laughed that whole weekend, and we ate and drank and told stories and laughed. I loved my spa experience, and I'd love to go again. The website promised me a journey to wellness. Well, maybe mine was more like a crooked path to something. But the thing that lightened my heart and warmed me on that cold February weekend was laughter laughing at myself, and laughing with the friends I love so much. Thank you.